In 1921, a Neanderthal skull was discovered, 60 feet below the ground within Rhodesia. Upon examination, it has since been realized that the skull has been pierced by a high-velocity projectile, such as a bullet, to the left temple. Analysis has since shown that this injury occurred at the time of death and could not have been a stray bullet years afterwards. If true, and the source of the hole was indeed a bullet-like projectile, the implications are clearly profound. For how could a skull dated at over 150,000 years old have suffered such an injury? Modern academia states that these remains must be impossible. Yet, according to author René Norbergen, a German forensic authority from Berlin, quote, the cranial damage to Rhodesian man's skull could not have been caused by anything but a bullet, end quote. The rounded entry point of the wound also testifies to the great speed at which the projectile would have been traveling at the time of impact. However, if the find remained unique, it would have been easy for certain fields of study to disregard its existence as a mere freak of nature, a result of pure coincidence. Yet thankfully, and most intriguingly, Rhodesian man is not the only prehistoric skull which has been found to have suffered this peculiarity. A few thousand miles away, along the Lena River in Russia, a skull belonging to an auroch was later found, an extinct species of wild cattle that lived from 2 million to 4,000 years ago. And just like the Cabway skull, aka Rhodesian man, the hole in the auroch skull is missing radial cracks, evidence that would have been left by a spear, arrow, or any other low-speed projectiles. Just how did these two beings meet their fate? Were they really shot by a firearm? If so, what type of firearm? Who had this capability 150,000 years ago? A time traveler? Or perhaps a hidden history here upon our planet? What do you think? Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.